Greetings, 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 grand rising, grand rising, what it is. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Sunday, all right? The sun is out, so, and it's a day, so we're going to call it Sunday, right? We're going to get into a build right here. First off, just want to give thanks to the Great Spirit for another beautiful continuation of life. want to give thanks to my ancestors, all right, for always um, just using me as a vessel, man, to bring that information to the people. All right, um, we actually um on two platforms right now. We on Facebook and we on YouTube. All right. This part of this um program is brought to you by Original Um Tribal Wear. Check it out, originaltribalwear.com. Go check it out. Also, simply stone. All right. So uh go check it out. Go check it out. We about we about to get into a little build right now. We're gonna talk about I posted um a, a, a pic on Facebook earlier, all right? And it seems like it's, you know, everybody is um, going in right now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna talk about that. I kind of posted that for a reason, just to, you know, kind of like prepare you guys for this build. So we're gonna talk a little bit about Trump. We're gonna talk about politrix. That's right, politrix, because it's all a trick. So let me, let me just pull this up on um, Facebook, make sure um, everything is good right now. Let me just click on that. All right, here we go, okay? Because a lot of people are actually in their emotions right now, you know, with this whole politics thing. So we're going to break a few things down. Now, whether you're in your feelings or not, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just going to drop the facts, all right? And then you do what you got to do with the information. You ain't got to believe anything I say. Just go ahead and do your own searching. When you do your searching, go ahead and do your research. All right, because you, I hear people say, oh, well, I'm going to do research. Well, in the first place, did you search? First, you got to search and then research, right? So we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to share, I'm going to get right into it, right into it, okay? I'm going to share the screen so you can see what I posted on Facebook earlier. Go ahead, guys, do me a favor, share the links, share the link, share the link. Let's get, let's get into this. Hopefully that will give people an understanding as to, you know, what's going on, why you don't need to be so emotional about politics and who is in office, okay? Once again, I'm just giving you the facts. It is not an opinion. It is not from my perspective. It is strictly a fact. And I would like for you to go check that information out yourself, okay? I just shared my screen. Now, this is the post that I put on Facebook earlier. And the picture is it's a depiction of Trump, the current president of the United States. And as you could see, there are a lot of so-called black people, you know, surrounding him, look like they are putting their hands on him, okay? Insinuating that they are praying for him, okay? So that's what the picture is showing or depicting right now. Now we are seeing a lot of um interesting character or characters in the picture, particularly the far right, the way it's situated, you know what I'm saying, where it kind of looked like the Statue of Liberty all on the right, right here, okay? It kind of looked like a androgynous being, so to speak, and again, no disrespect, but that's what I'm seeing. Now, a lot of people have different perceptions, opinions about what they see in the picture, but I'm just saying that to me, where that person was strategically placed, I don't think it was a coincidence, especially with that type of head wrap or that head piece with, you know, whatever that is. It looked like the Statue of Liberty. So I don't know what they're insinuating there. I will let you be the judge of that. All right. Again, I'm no, I'm no conspiracy theorist. I'm just seeing what the eyes can see. All right, and I'm talking about both my physical and my spiritual eyes. So I said, okay, I said, yay or nay, Trump 2020, or it makes no difference. And I appreciate all the comments that you made. I also said, oh, Lord, Jesus, take the wheel. All right, no, that was just to be funny. A lot of people got into their emotions and upset about what these so-called black people are doing. Well, let me break a couple of things down for you, 
all right? And hopefully this information, you will be able to digest that information and take your emotions out of politics. Family, brothers and sisters, people, it's just business. Stop taking it personal, all right? But first you need to truly understand what or who a president is, okay? Well, no, that's not the first thing. First, I'm gonna make you, and I've done this in videos before, but you know, in, in, in the realm of what we are doing right now, I'm gonna go over that information again because you see, it's repetition. It has to be redundant because people are brainwashed. They are programmed. And the only way to deprogram them, okay, is to go over the information over and over and over until they get it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at what the United States is because a lot of people are still under the misconception and have gotten the misinformation that the United States is a country. So once you have truly understood what the United States is, then you will hear and see exactly what the phrase means. Don't take it personal. It's just business. It's just business. Don't take it personal. How many times have you heard many presidents say that quote? The United States is built on small businesses. Okay? It is a huge business with many little franchises, including many corporations, including you are even a corporation. But many of you don't know that. You are also incorporated into a big corporation. You are a shareholder, but you don't know that. So you were duped and tricked into becoming a citizen of a corporation. So that took away all your, how would I put it, your, your, your beneficial interests, if I may as a shareholder, okay? So that's exactly what's going on, all right? With that being said, let us go into exactly what the United States is. And this is not coming from me. This is coming from their own codes. So I am not making this up, all right? Let us share this screen. Let us continue, all right? So here we go. We are going to look at Title 28, U.S. Code, Section 3002, all right? Now, family, again, this is not coming from me. This is their own codes. It is their own codes. All right, give me a second. So give me a second here. All right. This is coming from their own codes. Oh man, I just got off of Facebook here for a second. I'm gonna log back in, give me a second guys. All right, here we go. All right, so we have Title 28. Go check it out yourself. Please do not take my word for it because I want my people to truly know the game because the only way to win is for you to know the game that you are playing. It is the only way to win, family. Two rules to the game. Number one, know the game. Second rule, know your players. You don't know your players because you don't know what or who a president is, okay? Secondly, you don't, you don't, you don't know the game because you don't know the United States is a corporation. So how can we win as a people if we don't know the game? But I'm here to teach you the game if you are willing to learn the game. Okay, so from their own codes. No, that's not coming from me. It's their own codes. Let's read. Reading is fun for the mental, right? Title 28. That's USC, and USC stands for United States Code. All right, those are their codes, not mine. I didn't make it up. Title, all right, Title 28, US Code, Section 302 definitions what we're going to do we're going to go down to subsection 15a let us truly see what the united states is okay united states means what can anybody read that for me hey 
I'm looking at the chat right now. Can anybody read that for me, please? Can anybody read that for me? What does it say here? If you could see the screen. United States means what? Anybody? I'm looking at the comments right now to see what's going on. I'm waiting because, you know, I want this to be interactive. You dig? So I'm watching the comments to see if you can see the screen, what I'm actually showing you. Because I want y'all to see it with your own eyes. Seeing is believing, right? Well, that's what they say. But I want you to read that from their own codes. What does it say? 15A, United States means what? Can anybody? Just need a little help real quick. So, but there we go. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Sister Chelsea and um, Uma L. It says what? A federal corporation. So if the United States is a federal corporation, how can you be a citizen of a corporation? That's number one. Okay? That's number one. It's like you saying you're a citizen of McDonald's. It's like you saying you're a citizen of Walmart. It's like you saying you're a citizen of Sam's Club. People, I mean, I mean, I, I know they say if you want to hide anything from a you-know-what, put it in a book, but damn. I mean, I'm certainly sure I'm not the only one who's been showing people this and talking about this. How can you be a citizen of McDonald's? How can you be a citizen of Burger King? It is no difference with the United States. It's a federal corporation. That's number one. That's facts. And I say facts over feelings every single day. All right? Okay, cool. So for all, um, you said you cannot see the screen. Um, I mean, this, I could see it. I don't know. I mean, other folks could see it. Um, Roderick, I'm not sure why you can't see it, but um, please check your device because um, I could see it on my phone. All right? So once again, the United States is a corporation just so you know, and that's facts. Go check it out yourself, all right? Title 28, all right, section 3002, and go down to 15A, capital A, all right? Now you know what the United States is. It's a business, it's a corporation. Now, what do corporations have? Corporations have presidents, all right? I'm gonna ask you again, what do corporations have? Corporations have presidents. Hmm? So let us go look at how do a president is picked for a corporation? Because you see, a lot of people are confused. They are in their emotions because their leaders are not teaching them. You see, we are not teaching our children the truth. And that's why we cannot get things done because the majority of our people don't know the game and they don't know their players okay it's all politics period point blank so i just highlighted some information it says the president is typically selected by the board members are for a term now a term could be four terms all right a term could be four years a year doesn't necessarily equate to a term all right a term is just a period of time. So in respect to the United States, a term is four years. So a president is typically selected by a board of members for a term. So every four years is considered a term. After the term, another president is what? Selected from among members. Some board members are paid and other and some are not, depending on the organization. Now, brothers and sisters, let me just expound on what this means so you could get it through your heads. Okay? We have to look at the words. When you read, read with understanding. Don't read and assume what you see is what it means because of what you were taught. You see, you were preconditioned. You were pre-programmed to hear certain words and see certain definitions. But let us read with understanding. Let's read with discernment. 
Let's read that again. Now that you know the United States is a corporation and every corporation got a president slash CEO, the head honcho, right? Let's read again. The president is typically what? It says what? Can anybody tell me what word I just highlighted? I'll wait. Because you see, I want that to sink in. I just highlighted a word in blue. Can anybody tell me what that word is? Ah, wait, you see, we're gonna take our time to learn today. We're not gonna rush the information. I'm not in a rush, although at one o'clock I have to go to um a gathering with um some of our people. We're gonna do a group meditation, and you know, we're just gonna give honor and praise to our ancestors. So that's not until one o'clock. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tutsi. All right. Thank you, my sister Tutsi. Yes, selected. So presidents are selected, not elected, brothers and sisters. So what the hell are you having elections for? It's supposed to be selections and not elections. But y'all don't hear me, though. See, one way or the other, you're going to learn if you so choose to learn. Because you see, the game is being played on a big screen. And you are nothing but a pawn in the game. You are nothing but an extra in the movie. Well, I'm asking you to stop being extras and become one of the main actors because they are all actors. Okay? And I'm even asking us to take it a step further. Let us stop being actors and let's stop being directors and producers. It's a big movie. It's a big movie. So once again, presidents are not elected. They are selected. So what the hell are you having elections for? Come on, man. It's right here in black and white. I'm going to read this again. The president is typically selected by the board members. Keywords again. By the board members. Let me ask you a question. Who are our board members helping to select the president? I'm going to ask you that. Okay. How many indigenous board members is actually within the construct of selecting a president. So when you talk about, oh, well, ain't nothing happening for us, that's because we don't have no board members representing us. We don't have no board members standing for us. And well, you have the Black Caucus. Well, the Black Caucus is helping Black people. I ain't Black. And they ain't doing nothing for Black people either, for people who call themselves Black. So let me ask you a question. Who is on the board of directors that's representing indigenous people, the original American Indians. Who are the ones that's there representing us? Nobody. So then you ask yourself, well, chief, why is this happening to me? Oh, they don't like me because I'm black. Well, let me ask you a question, my brothers and sisters. Okay. Is this the color of your complexion? You know, I'll wait because you see, you have to break things down so a child could understand it because for some reason a lot of grown people are gone but i'm not going to give up on y'all i'm not going to i'm going to keep pushing and pushing until you get it so i'm going to ask you a question again i'm going to put this right here in the camera okay right here in the camera let me ask you a question how many of y'all your complexion actually look like this hmm? So obviously, we are not black. So when things happen to you, it's not because you are black. No, black is not the, com the, 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 the complexion of your skin. It is not. And when people get into their emotions, oh, we black, we black, man, listen, I don't want to hear nothing about that. Obviously, something is wrong with your brain. And then they think you are the one with the problem because you, you say, I'm not black. They think, well, you're hating. They think you have no pride or you're not proud to be black. You're damn right I'm not proud to be black because I'm not black. So people with that type of mindset, okay, you leave them alone. You see what I'm saying? Leave them alone and let them be. We cannot save everybody. Our job is not to save everybody. Birds of a feather flock together, okay? 
if you have geese flying in the skies and in one goose you have all these different feathers there's going to be an imbalance in that flight so all the feathers got to be in sync they got to be in tune they got to flock together so that that goose could fly but too many of us we want to be in all these different groups with all these different mindsets people with contradictory beliefs so how do you think it's going to work some want to be black some want to be african american some want to be niggers some want to be indigenous some want to be afro american even if they're the same people but it's the ideas the brainwashing the ideologies that was placed and implanted in their minds make them different so when you get stopped by the police it is not because you are black no black it's impossible for your pigments to be black that's number one number two there's no such thing black is not a nationality black is not a race but we're not going to get into all that because once we start talking about nationality you have other groups trying to give us nationalities that don't belong to us so we're not going to get into that we're going to stick with politics okay so if presidents are selected why are they having elections okay let anybody make let that make sense to me please let that make sense to me and here's another thing i want you to think of right if your vote really count how is that you have millions of people voting but it only take about 300 and something so-called electoral votes to get the president in so obviously it's a big game it's a big game to get into people's emotions that's where the division comes in that's where the division comes in family because it's irrelevant whether you vote or not in this so-called elections voting for a president the president is not elected by votes the president is selected by board members in other words members of the corporation <laughs> man you got to get you got to get it right yes we were members of the corporation but we gave that up when we signed those contracts birth certificate social security number etc you gave up those rights okay for privileges that the corporation that your own corporation that you created as the people you gave up all your rights your beneficial rights you gave up all ownership of that and you gave it away and now you're mad the corporation is not benefiting you you're mad that the corporation you built ain't doing nothing for you well whose fault is it it's yours the lack of knowledge people perish now I know I may get into a lot of your feelings right now. And a lot of you don't like or what you're hearing right now. It's okay. I'm not here for likes. I'm just here to drop the information and do with the information as you may. Okay? So if the United States is a corporation, how can you be a citizen of a corporation? First question. Secondly, if the president is selected, why do they have elections and not selections? Hmm? Thirdly, they are selected by the board members. Let me ask you a question. Where are our board members to help select who we want? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Y'all think it's a game, huh? All right. Now, after the term, another president is selected. So let me ask you a question. Y'all really think in November, okay? that that's when they're going to pick the president no the other president is already picked and seeing that it's a business they will pick they will select a businessman okay a particularly a businessman who knows about bankruptcy oh 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 chief now nah, what are you talking about so you're trying to tell me chief that trump is the best man for the job yes you're damn right because how many times has Trump been bankrupt and came back? Name me other 
Name me any other president you know that have been bankrupt like Trump. You see, y'all got to get out of your feelings. This is not personal. It's just business. But y'all don't hear me, though. For all those who hear me, I want to see you hit one right now. Okay? Just type. Oh, man. Listen, family. Listen, 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 man. <laughs> listen. I guess I'm dropping too much. I'm dropping too much. Yo, they just shut off my stream yard. <laughs> That's what I tell you, man. Them haters, I tell you. They're hitting on Chief Kalanago in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm. But they can't stop me, though. You see what I'm saying? They can't stop me. They can't. They can't. That's the problem. You know, they, they mad right now. They mad. They just shut down the whole thing. Boom. As soon as I hit that note, shut it down. But like I said, they can't stop it, though. They can't stop me. They can't. That's why I tell people I don't pay people. I don't pay people no mind that's out there trying to degrade me or, 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 or you know, slander my name. I don't care, man. It don't bother me. It don't bother me. I know the power that I have. And I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. I'm going to continue to do what my ancestors sanctioned me to do and summoned me to do. Okay? So with that being said, you see what I mean? With that being said, I'm going to ask you again. Let us go back to that screen because apparently the powers there be don't want that information and the truth to be articulated the way that I'm doing it. So I'm going to share the screen again. All right? Let's share that screen again. And no weapons formed against me shall prosper. You did. All right, so here we are. Uh, let me see, uh, shut that down. So I'm sharing the screen again. Let's take our time with that, okay? So I'm just sharing my screen again, family, all right? Now, let me ask. Um, I think I'm back on. If you guys could see me or hear me, let me know. Can you guys see me or hear me? Let me know. Can y'all see me and hear me? If you could see me and hear me, press 1. If you could see me and hear me, press 1. So I could proceed. All right, beautiful. Thank you, Sister Tootsie. I appreciate that. Good, good, good. All right, so we're, we're on point right now, right? So we're sharing the screen again. And like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted, all right, by the people who own these platforms, okay? Here we go. So once again, if we know that the United States is a federal corporation, it's a corporation, all right? A corporation of federations, all right? It's a corporation, all right? And we know that every business, every corporation has a president. And the president is selected 
My question was, why are we having elections and not selections? So the point I'm making is the president is already selected, brothers and sisters. You see, they already know who the next president is, is going to be in November. But they have to keep you playing the perpetual game of politics. They have already selected their next president for their business. Because it's a selected or a selection process and not an elected process. Okay? If it was through elections, then your vote would count. Okay? Just like how a sheriff is elected. But with the president of a corporation, he is not elected. He is selected. So therefore, the president has already been selected. And may I reiterate, Trump is the only president in the history of the United States who's been through more bankruptcies than it got people in churches. Okay? All right. You feel me? So who is the best man to run a corporation that's been bankrupt since before 1933? It is the man that's an, ex that's an expert on bankruptcy. So everything that you're hearing and seeing, impeachment this and impeachment that is just a bunch of cockamania, okay? It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. It is all media hype. They, they're not going to get Trump out of office. Trump is going to serve his two terms. He is going to serve his two terms. And even if he don't, they was, they're just going to put another president of the corporation there to continue their job. But personally, I think Trump will be president again. All right? Because Trump is doing exactly what he needs to do. The only thing, the only, for me, the only problem I see with Trump is this. He just talked too much. But he's doing what he's supposed to do. Sometimes I think he should just learn to move in silence and, and stop tweeting everything. Just do what you got to do. That's it. Do what you got to do. So let us proceed. So if the president is selected by the board members, then we are supposed to find out who are these board members and hold them liable. Let them know that we are not going to put up with certain things. Let them know that we, as the indigenous people, we need to put that in place. Let them know we, as the indigenous people, we need some of us on those board members or as those board of directors. So when things are happening to our people, stop blaming it on your, your, your complexion and saying it's because you're black. You sound stupid. Because apparently your, your, your skin is not black. Okay? Get a black object. Get a black object. And go ask your five-year-olds, your six-year-olds, and your seven-year-olds. Take a black phone and put it next to your skin and ask your seven-year-olds what is the color of the phone and ask them what's the color of your skin. I guarantee you they will not say black. But you have grown people. Grown people going around calling themselves a color. And it irks. Until you have a true understanding of the game, you will never win. Until you have a true understanding of who the players are, you will never win. And that's facts. So know that it's business. We got to have a true understanding of what a business is. Okay? We got to have a true understanding of what contracts are. All right? Do you know what contracts are? And the sad thing about it is everything that this system was built on they learned it from us. You see, that's the irony in all this. We have the greatest business minds. We are a very intellectual people, but we have allowed ourselves to be programmed 
We have allowed ourselves to be brainwashed by information that's being taught to our children. And these children grow up to be mothers and fathers and they teach their children what they learned from this brainwashed system. And these children, children learn the same thing. And it's a continuous perpetual cycle of brainwashing people who are brainwashed. Once again, you will never see a rabbit take its youngins to a lion to get taught because it will be afraid that the lion eat its children or its youngins. So why are you taking your children so that a system could teach your children but yet still teach them how to be their biggest enemies? I mean, come on, man. And when you speak, when you speak facts, and you, you speak from a perspective, a place of wisdom. People get into their feelings. They get mad. They want to attack. I don't care about the attacks. You can't touch me. But for those that are here for the truth and want to resonate with the information that's true, then I rock with you. And that's what I mean by birds of a feather flock together. I ain't trying to rock with everybody. I'm trying to rock with the, I'm not trying. I am rocking with the like minds. People on the same frequency. People where I'm at, they are. And that's why I tell people I don't cast my pearls to swines. They are nothing but pigs. I don't eat pork. So I'm here to show you the game that's being played. Your votes are not the your votes don't pick or select the president. The president is already selected by their peers, by their board of members. Okay? It's already done. It's a done deal. So don't think, oh well, November, oh well, who are you gonna vote for? I'm gonna vote for this. Oh, I don't like Democrats. Oh, I don't like Republicans. Well, guess what? They told you in plain English, left wing, right wing, same bird. So why do you think there's a difference between Democrats and Republicans? The only thing is Trump is a little bit cuckoo. Trump is a crazy man, and I like that. He don't care. Although he still have to do some of the things that they sanctioned him to do. Yes, he has to do some of that, but, but he's doing his own thing. So Trump is a good man for the business. Yes, I'm not saying he's a good man for the people. I'm saying he's a good man for the business, all right? Now, hence, by default, if he's a good man for the business, by default, the people will have a better opportunity, okay? When it comes to economic-wise, okay? More jobs, more money flowing. I mean, there is so much construction. There is so much construction in, in New York right now. It's not even funny. All right? Now, I don't condone the gentrification, but sometimes you what? You give some and you take some. All right? They are building more buildings and homes, which our people cannot afford, but more of our people are getting jobs. So it's like, Man, you give me one thing with one hand, but you take it on the other hand, right? So what is the solution, Chief? Well, I say, as indigenous people, nobody is supposed to force us to assimilate. You see what I mean? As indigenous people, we have a right to self-identify. As indigenous people, we have a right to form and create our own political, economic, social, and religious organizations. We have every single right to do that. So what is the solution, Chief? I just gave it to you. You see, we had our own towns and our own communities. We had that. We had our own political systems. We taught them that. We gave them that. So if we did it in the past, that means we could do it again. We have every right to have our own courts, our own judges, our own police. We have every right to do that. Every single right. 
But you know what the problem is? Nobody wants to come together. All right. Everybody wants to pick everybody apart. You know what? Oh, well, I'm not doing what Chief is doing. So you know what? I'm going to tear him down. I'm not doing what this sister is doing. So I'm going to tear her down. I'm not doing what this other brother is doing, so I'm going to tear him down. Instead of minding their own business, that is the downfall of the people who look like us. Okay? Instead of saying, you know what? Maybe I should join this brother. Maybe I should join this sister. Ah, oh, no, I'm not going to do that. I would rather tear them down. But you see, once you are at a certain level in your life in terms of growth, people who don't get it, they cannot affect you because you have gone, you have surpassed that level of negativity. So just continue to rise and do what you are doing. Don't stress yourself if you are around people who are negative. Don't stress yourself if you are around people trying to belittle you, put, put you down or, or slander you. Don't worry about that. Just know that you are not alone. In, and what I mean by that is you will eventually link with the people you are supposed to be vibing with. You see, in life, it's a journey. And we all have a purpose. And some of us were chosen to do good things and great things. While others were chosen to do negative things and things that are not so great. It's called duality. So don't stress yourself. Don't be mad. Don't let them use up your energy and turn you or transform you into a being that you are not. Continue to let your light shine. I'm not just showing you what the problems are or the obstacles are. I am showing you what the solutions are. We as indigenous people have a right to have our own. We have that right. You cannot come into somebody else's land and tell them they cannot do this and cannot do that. You have no rights to do that. You cannot make laws. It's not your land. Period. So until we know the power we have as the original people of this land, we will continue to perish. So I say, we unite, okay? And we make sure that we as a people, we have board members, okay? Sitting at the table. We make sure that legislations are passed, all right? That's going to protect and facilitate our indigenous people to the highest standard. We are the ones that have to make that happen. Nobody's gonna do it for us, you see. Too many people are waiting for that one savior. Too many people is waiting for that Jesus concept. You gotta be your own savior. It takes you to step up and do what you gotta do. And don't worry about finding like minds, they will find you. Just do what you are doing. You feel me? Just do what you're doing. So don't get caught up in the emotions of politics. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your energy. Hey, oh, I hate Trump. Oh, Trump is the devil. What do you mean Trump is the devil? So Obama wasn't the devil? They have the same job, just different complexions. So come on, man. Let me ask you a question. What did Obama do for you so-called black people that Trump ain't do? Tell me. Come on, man. This is a business. And all you have to make sure is that you have a say or you have some stake in that company. What is our stake? All right? We have a beneficial interest in the corporation, but how do we state that claim? How do we make it known that, yes, we are the people who created this? Go look at House Joint Resolution 331. Okay? House of Congress Resolution 331, where it was passed in 1988, when Jesse Jackson called us African-American. 
It said what? The indigenous people, yes, the American Indians, we are the ones that built the United States. It was our constitution that they took. And they are supposed to deal with us from a government to government basis. They keep talking about, oh, well, you know, on drip is not legally binding. Oh, well, a drip is not legally binding. Says who? If we say it's legally binding, then it is because we are the people. We make the laws, not you. Your job is to uphold it. Your job is to uphold the laws that we make. So don't tell us what's legally binding and what's not. We tell you what's legally binding. Your job is to uphold it and make sure it's upheld. Your job is not to interpret the law that we made. So when we tell you on drip is legally binding, when we tell you a drip is legally binding, then it is. Period, point blank. Y'all got to know the power that you have and stop allowing these people to, you know, bamboozle us and, 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 and roll rate us. We, come on, we ain't doing that, man. We ain't doing that. So I'm just going to leave it right here. I think I've given you enough to ponder on, to think about, all right? So once again, I'm going to ask you a question. How many of you would like to be citizens of Burger King? Anybody. If you would like to be a citizen of Burger King, you know, type two. Because one way or the other, y'all going to learn. Y'all going to learn. Anybody who would like to be a citizen of Burger King, type two. Anybody who would like to be a citizen of McDonald's type three. Anybody who would like to be a citizen of Target type four. So how are you going to tell me you're a citizen of, of, of a corporation uh, of the United States? I mean, duh. Come on, man. Now, I'm going to ask a question. How many of you know that you're indigenous and indigenous people have a right to self-identify. How many of you know that as indigenous people, we have a right not to be forced to assimilate press one? Because we have to assert our right as a distinct people, the original people of this land. Type one if you know that you're indigenous and we have a right to self-identify. Come on, man. Somebody press two because they want they want to be a citizen of Burger King. Okay, I hear that. I don't. Even, you see, and there you see, there you go again. You see, a lot of our people hear the information, but they don't comprehend. I just asked press two if you want to be a citizen of Burger King, and somebody press two. You see, and that's how our people are not processing the information. That's why we have to teach them. And, and I'm not calling that individual out. I'm not doing that. All I'm just saying is they hear the information, but it's not being processed. Because the programming is so real, family, it's not even funny. It's not funny. But as indigenous people, we have a right to self-identify. I don't care if you want to call yourself a peanut butter sandwich and you indigenous, they have to respect that. That is your right. How dare you tell me I am not a peanut butter jelly sandwich? If that's what I want to call myself, then that's my right. You don't get to tell me who I am. If I, if as an indigenous man, I want to call myself a lion by damn, I mean, I am a lion. You see, that's the power of self-determination. You get to decide or determine who you are. Don't allow them to tell us who we are and make us think we are doing something wrong because we say who we are. Come on, man. But y'all gonna learn them. Y'all gonna learn. All right? So I'm gonna conclude this build. And uh, the next build I'm gonna do, we're gonna talk about vaccinations. I'm not gonna talk about it in this build because I don't wanna mix the two. But we're going to talk about that because it's something that we need to talk about. So we're just going to stick to what we are talking about right now, politics, all right? More of our indigenous people need to get involved into politics. That's right, I said it. 
More of us need to get involved. More of us need to be judges. More of us need to be, you know, attorneys or lawyers. More of us need to be in all these positions so we could start changing things around. Brothers and sisters, the only way to make changes is if you are sitting at the table. If you are not at the table, why are you complaining about the food that's being served? Now, let me drink some water on that. And that's distilled water, by the way. All right. If you're not at the table or you are not in the kitchen where the food is being prepared, why are you complaining about the food that's being served when you get a doggy bag? Because all we are getting is doggy bags. I don't want no doggy bag. I want to be at the table eating prime steak and lobster and ribs, even if I don't eat that. But damn it, if I'm at the table, let me get some grape upon. I want to eat good. I want to live good. There is nothing wrong in living good and eating good. Why do we always have to get the doggy bags? I don't want that. I'm not a dog. So the only way to eat good is to be at the table. Be at the table. And we have to do everything in our power to be at the table. I don't care what it takes. And I'm not talking about marching down the streets and talking about Black Lives Matter. That is a waste of time. Okay? It's a waste of time. I'm talking about coming together and creating our own. It's that simple. That's it. And until we as a distinct people, the indigenous people of this land, then we are, we are going to continue to have this problem. Always begging for something. Oh, well, Mr. President, can we get this? Oh, well, Mr. Governor, can we get this? Oh, well, Mr. Secretary, can we get this? No, we are not asking you for anything. We are going to demand. Because you are public servants. You work for us. We tell you what it is. And until you have a true understanding of what your power is, you will always be subjected to the tyranny of men and women. So everything that we are going through, yes, it's our fault. It's your fault. Nobody else's but yours. Let me ask you a question. Do you see Caucasians marching in the street talking about white lives matter? Do you see Jews running around in the street talking about Jewish life matter? Do you see Chinese people running around talking about yellow lives matter? No. Do you see Japanese running around talking about yellow lives matter? No. Do you see Koreans do it? No. Do you see Arabs? They paint Arabs as the biggest terrorists in the world, but them Arabs own all the damn gas stations. Oh, hold up. Aren't you afraid they blow up cars? No, because all of it is propaganda. They're not marching for rights. Why is that? I don't see Italians marching for rights. I don't see the Irish marching for life for rights. So why uh, so-called black people have to march for rights? Why are we the only ones doing that? Because you are the only one who don't get it. You are the only one who's not, who's not being taught the real. You see, you are the only one who's considered to be third class and fourth class citizens. You are the only one who they think is not allowed a seat at the table. And the sad part about it is the entire world know who we are. That's why they don't like us. It's not because they don't like us because they don't like us. They don't like us because they can't comprehend how could a people allow other people to treat them the way they treat them in their own land. I'm going to repeat that because that's going to go over some of y'all head. You feel me? It's not that other ethnic groups don't like us. It's not that they hate us. They hate the fact that they know we are the original people of this land and we are allowing immigrants to treat us 
the way we allow them to treat us. They are mad that we have to beg for everything in our own land. So the, the, the Chinese don't hate us. The Japanese don't hate us. Africans don't hate us. No, they hate the fact that we, as the original people, allow foreigners to come into our land and do what they're doing to us. That's what they hate. Because they know who we are. So for all of you that want to stay divided, by all means, go ahead. For all of you that want to be on here and trying to degrade me and belittle, I don't care about that. Trust me, I got more friends than enemies. Believe that. And when y'all step up, just know that you're coming up against an army that you wouldn't even comprehend in your wildest dreams. So keep playing yourself. But all I'm just saying is I'm here to vibe with the like-minded people, people that are actually on my frequency. You feel me? I don't have to cater to low vibrational energies. I don't owe you that. I don't have to explain myself to y'all. But I'm vibing with people that's on a certain frequency to make positive changes for our people. And I, I'm, I'm going to reiterate, I have nothing against Africans. I have nothing against Europeans. I have nothing against Asians. I deal with people based on their intent. I'm not going to play the color games. So much respect to my African brothers and sisters, much respect to my Asian brothers and sisters, much respect to my European brothers and sisters. That's what I stand on, the intent and the integrity of the man and the woman. We got work to do. And I ain't here to play the games with y'all. It's that simple. And like I said, watch me move. Y'all gonna truly learn who Chief Kalanago is. You just don't know yet. But you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn. And remember, before I let, let before I conclude this, keep this in mind: the stone that the builder refused is gonna be the head cornerstone. Come back to that video because you're gonna need to. And remember when I told you that. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great continuation. Don't get caught up in this politrix. Learn the game, know who, know who the players are, and let's find ways to get a seat at the table. It's the only way we're going to change things, okay? We cannot stay in the hood fighting for blocks. Oh, that's my turf. Oh, that's my block. You can't come on my block, son. What you mean it's your block? You see, we, we, have to, we have to open up our minds and see and know how great we are, all right? We built this entire nation. We did. Nobody else but us. Okay? For real. And it wasn't built on our backs. It was built with our hands. All right? We didn't, we didn't come here on no damn slave ships. Yes, a lot of us were enslaved, become, became prisoners of war in our land. Yes, I will, I will settle for that. But we built it with our hands. We didn't even have all the tools that they had. We built it with our hands. That's how great we are. That's how powerful we are as a people. Let us come together, put our heads together, and build for ourselves for a change. That's what it's about. Making change within ourselves for our people first. Then and only then can we reach out a hand to everybody else. We have done that. We have done that for too long. And nobody else has given us the, the, the respect that we so deserve. Well, we're going to have to take that respect. Okay? You have Chinatown. The Jews got their own. The Irish got their own. The Arabs got their own. Even Africans got their own. Everybody got their own, but we here fighting amongst each other. Mm. But you want to win, though, right? Nah. That's not the attitude or the mentality of a winner. Mm-mm. You will always lose if that's your thought process. And like I said before, I don't care if it's 20 of us that's going to come together and get five acres and have our own community. It's going to be done. I guarantee you that it's going to be done. All right. And let me just make a quick announcement. We got our first American Aboriginal powwow 
July 24th to the 26th in Texas, in Commerce, Texas. It's literally half an hour away from Dallas, all right? July 24th to the 26th. And we're only going to print 300 tickets. We're going to show the world that 300 Aboriginal Americans, we're going to come together for three days and build in unity. The flyers will be coming soon. So just keep that in mind, okay? All tickets are going to be $100. All food included for all three days. All you got to do is just bring your tent, all right? That's it. That's all you got to do. Bring your tent. But it's going to be off the chain. All right, three days, food included. All the, the tickets are only going to be one hundred dollars. That's it for three days. All you have to do is just get there. For those of you who are flying, we already we're going to have buses that we're going to charter to pick you up pick you up from the airport. For those of you that are driving, you will get the information. But the flies is coming soon. But for three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. On Friday, we're going to have festivities honoring our ancestors. I'm talking about bonfires. Um, you know, um, the drum circle, the fire circle, we're going to be, um, I mean, all type of spiritual rituals. I mean, we're going to group meditations. We're going to have speakers, artists, uh, man, it, it's going to be beautiful. And um, on Saturday, same thing. All right. But different activities. We're going to kind of break it up. All right. We're going to do a meet and greet first. The meet and greet is going to be that Friday. And then we're going to go into our, uh, in, into our festivities. All right. We could go until 4 a.m. All right, just having a good time honoring our ancestors. Then we're going to start the following day. And on the final day, on Sunday, we're going to have all the vendors who came, whether you have books, clothing, jewelry, um, it doesn't matter what you have. We're going to set up your tables and we're going to support each other. We're going to do our first power and watch it come to life. You see, the haters can't stop it. They can't stop it. So what they are fighting to do that they have not done Guess what? Chief Kalanago is going to get it done. Y'all want, want some more reason to hate? I just gave you another one. I'm bringing our people together in unity and in love. And by all means, we will be victorious. So like I said, July 24th to the 26th in Texas, Commerce, Texas. All right. We have 88 acres. All right. We have 88 acres of land for that weekend. Well, not that weekend. Because ain't nothing weak about us and it ain't going to end. But for that continuation, July 24th to the 26th, oh, it's going to be beautiful. Oh, our ancestors are going to be rejoicing. We're going to be doing the drumming. I'm talking about over 300 of us in our feathers. Oh, oh man, it's going to be beautiful. And for those of you who can't make it, oh, it will be televised. It will be. So look out for that. The flyers are coming out soon. And like I said, we are only going to print 300 tickets. All right? So let's make this happen. Enjoy the rest of your continuation. I appreciate, love you guys. Share the information and let's do this. It's time for us to do what we got to do. All right, let me just stop sharing my screen. Stop sharing my screen. Get back here for a second. All right. Oh, indeed, it shall be done. All right. Because we got to come together as a people. It's time to make that change. Our children deserve better. Our children deserve better. We got to teach our children what it means to come together, work together, love each other, build each other. We have to teach our children that. Okay? Teach them that they are not slaves. They did not come here on no slave ship. The, one of the main reasons why a lot of our people don't feel the urge to stand up and fight for what's ours is because they have been defeated, all right, with the ideologies that we came here as slaves. But if they know that this is their land, when they know that we are the original people that they call the American Indians, trust me, it will change. It will change. Okay? It will change. Or no doubt, it will be televised, all right? So look out for the flyers for July 20, 24th to the 26th. Like I said, only 300 tickets are going to be printed. And it's going to be a beautiful experience. All right? So some people have already pre-ordered their tickets. I think so far about, I think about 15 people, about 15 people already pre-paid for their tickets. 
So just to just to let you know how many people are actually anticipating that right now. It's going to be a beautiful event. And we, we plan on doing it, you know, that's the first one. And we plan on doing that in different parts of the country. We're going to make this happen. We're going to rally our people that's on the same frequency. Believe that. It's going to happen. All right? So, guys, enjoy the rest of this beautiful Sunday. And we'll talk a little later, man. I appreciate love, y'all. Peace, love, harmony, and light. And like I said, for those of you who feel the need to support your brother, by all means, the information is in the chat. All right? Big up on yourself. All right? Enough things are going on. You dig. Peace and love. I'm out.